Okay, so welcome back to the Row Aviation Recap. The biggest news for most of the community this week is that Roblox unintentionally completely bugs motors in a way that they apparently work for some people, whilst others won't see them move at all. I'm not 100% on the exact details of this, but with the Royal Aviation community relying heavily on these for things such as moving engines and wheels on aircraft, many groups have been scrambling to find a solution. As well as this, Roblox has officially killed off bacon hairs by changing it so that you no longer have to pick a gender for your Roblox avatar when creating a new account, changing the new default skin to this monstrosity. Rustic Wren's Red Bull Air Race hosts its first masterclass race in Austria, with many teams such as Rusty's, RBX Red Bull, Alpina and Roblox SpaceX competing against each other to see who is the fastest around the set track. Speaking of Roblox SpaceX, they release a load of photos showing off their absolutely stunning recreations of the SpaceX Crew Dragon and the Big Falcon rocket. And with them starting to open applications for roles such as mission controls, whilst closing applications for astronauts, it's looking increasingly likely that we're going to be seeing a crewed launch from them very shortly. In the Row Aviation Display Team community, Red 1 of the Virtual Roblox Red Arrows Horizon Eyes steps down after over two years of service, moving down to the Support Officer role, handing over the reins to Red 9 KB120. The Rubius Festival of Flight is now scheduled for the 19th of September, after several reschedules. Still, no one seems to have a clue how the festival is going to work. However, despite the delays, it looks like something to be pretty excited for. Also, the memes that have come out from this already have made it worth the wait for me. Neuratics released their newest aircraft, known as the Hell Machine, before taking it off sale within days. God knows how many they sold, if any, but it's hilarious. Aronus released their Aronus V2.0 plane kit, and thank God I'm not a pilot for any airline that uses it, because I have no clue how to make it work. <laughs> PTFS, yes, you knew it was coming at some point, received some huge updates in the last two weeks, with the biggest changes being much more prominent, yet realistic fog. That looks really good but also means that the max viewing distance is a couple of kilometers shorter than it was before. Access to dev cam for those with the ATC Game Pass, something that is huge for people looking to make videos with the game. And finally, five new aircraft and three new airports have been added with the new seaplanes update, something that no one asked for, but everyone is thrilled with. Finally, the large Roviation YouTuber Dang attacks Funwees, the owner of the medium-sized airline of Air Kenya, after a raid saw an unidentified user kick around 6,000 members from the Air Kenya Roblox group, as well as mildly nuking their Discord server. Dang, seeing this, decided to post this on his own Discord server, and look, I don't know what drama had previously occurred between these two, but it's always a bit of a downer seeing big names such as this making attacks like these, especially when the claimed reason for it was that the owner was being rude. Ugh. Anyway, that's all the radiation news I've seen from this week. Be sure to let me know what's occurring in my Discord server to ensure that I don't miss anything out. I'd like to thank you all so, so much for helping me hit 800 subscribers last night, as well as 100 members on my Discord server. I'm doing this purely for fun, but the support you guys have shown me makes doing this all so much better. Once again, thank you so much for sitting through this mess. Patron, out.